What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to check out an extension from TomTom Tom that allows you to save your selection states inside of SketchUp. That means if you accidentally click off of a selection and lose it, you can get it back without having to go back in and reselect something inside of your model. So I will note that this extension was voted on by my supporters on Patreon. Patreon is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube, so if you like what I'm doing in this channel, maybe you're interested in voting on the extensions that I cover every week, make sure to check out that link in the notes down below and consider supporting the show. But now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so one of the things you might have noticed about SketchUp when you're working inside of the program is it doesn't save selection states. And what that means is let's say that I was coming in here and trying to select like a certain number of edges inside of this particular shape. So if I was to come in here and do this, and let's say it was a fairly complex selection, so something like this for whatever reason, and then I was to accidentally click off of the selection. Well, you can see how I lost that selection inside of SketchUp and I have no way of getting it back because the selection state isn't saved. And so if you're doing something that requires a lot of complex selections, that can be a problem. Um, not only can it be really frustrating, but it can also take up a lot of time. So luckily there is a free extension from TomTom, which you can find in the SketchUp extension warehouse that you can download that actually saves those selection states. So um, just go into the SketchUp extension warehouse and you want to look for selection memory. So selection memory is a tool that you can use in order to cycle through your last few selection sets. So what this means is this means that if you click off of something, you can cycle through the last few selections that you had in order to get them back. So when you install this extension, which you can install by clicking on the install button right here, then inside of SketchUp, in the edit menu, you're gonna get a little option right here for cycle previous selections. And so cycle previous selections is the menu option for selection memory. And so this has a shortcut of D. And so what that means is that means that if you tap the D key on your keyboard, it's going to allow you to cycle through your last five selection sets. Well, notice how as I tap D, I get this selection set back inside of SketchUp. What that means is that means I can now go through and continue working with my selection. So having those five selection sets inside of SketchUp to cycle through can be really helpful. So notice how again, if I tap the D key, all it's doing is it's just going through the last five clicks that I had in here. But now let's say I wanted to like extrude this with extrusion tools or something like that. I now have the ability to do that. And so not only will this work with edges, it'll also work with faces. So let's say that I had a selection here where I selected a number of different faces, maybe something like, we'll keep it simple and do something like this. So if I come in here and select a few different faces like this, and then I accidentally click off of this, notice how this is gonna pick up the faces and the edges inside of SketchUp when I tap that D key. So I can cycle through those by tapping the D key. One thing to note, and I haven't done this, but you can go through and adjust the source code to adjust the number of selections that this stores. It's not recommended that you adjust this too much because um, it's just more stuff that SketchUp has to manage. It can really slow down your model, but you can definitely do that. Um, so another example right here is let's say that I was selecting edges along this object for whatever reason, maybe I wanted a spiral or something like that. Let's say I got all the way up here and then I clicked off. Well, I can just tap the D key in order to cycle back to that selection in order to continue working on my selection. So this extension is probably one of the top like three productivity tools that I recommend that people install inside of any version of SketchUp, just because it's really going to be something that can save you a lot of frustration if you, if you accidentally click off and lose a selection inside of SketchUp. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Have you used this tool before? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.